The Curvature tool in Illustrator is a great way to create vector artwork easily. You'll use it to create the guitar artwork you see over here on the right by drawing the paths that make up this guitar and then assembling the shapes in the artboard on the right. If you'd like to follow along, you can open this file from the practice files for this tutorial. And with the file open, just to make sure that you can see all of the artwork, choose View, Fit All in Window. You'll start by zooming into the first area where you'll begin drawing. So select the Zoom tool in the Tools panel on the left and drag across this purple area on the left to zoom in. You'll begin by drawing the body of the guitar here. So select the Curvature tool in the Tools panel on the left. The Curvature tool is used to create paths by clicking to set anchor points. Before you start drawing though, in the Properties panel to the right, you'll change some appearance settings. So click the Fill Color, make sure the Swatches option is selected, and choose None so you can remove the fill while you draw. You can then press Escape to hide the colors. And then make sure the stroke weight is set to 1. These will be the fill and stroke settings for the artwork you're about to draw. Now the circles in the document out here indicate where you will click to set anchor points for a path. So starting at the top, click to create the first anchor point. After you release the mouse button, move the pointer to the next circle and click to create another anchor point. After you release the mouse button again, move the pointer away and notice that a curved path is created between these two points. Move the pointer around to get a feeling for how it's creating the curve. Then come to the next point and click to set it. Then move the pointer away again. As you draw with the curvature tool, you can edit the anchor points you've already drawn, even moving them, adding more, or deleting them. Come to the previous point you created and move the pointer over it. Click to select it. Drag that point to see how you can move them and reshape the path. Then drag it back where it was. Click to create the next point and continue clicking to create the points all the way around this shape. To close the path, move the pointer over the first point you created and when a circle appears next to the pointer, click to close the path and finish drawing this shape. Now you can also create straight lines with the Curvature tool, which is what you'll do next to create the neck of this guitar. So come over here and click to set the first anchor point. Then click to set the next point in the corner to the right and move the pointer away. Notice that the path has a curve. Now to make this path straight, move the pointer over the last anchor point you created and double click on it. Then move the pointer away. The paths are now straight. You can also work faster by double clicking to create a point and make a straight line at the same time. So come to where the next point will go down here and double click to create an anchor point with a straight path. Then double click to create the next point. Come back to the original point you created and double click to close the path and finish drawing with a straight line. Paths you create with any of the drawing tools can also be edited with the curvature tool. To see artwork that you'll edit, press the space bar to temporarily access the hand tool and then drag in the document window so that you can see the orange area below. Release the space bar. To zoom into this orange area, select the zoom tool and drag across it. This shape needs a curve at the bottom, not a straight line. So next you'll add a new point and reposition it with the curvature tool. First you need to select the path. Select the selection tool in the tools panel and click the edge of the shape to select it. Then select the Curvature tool again in the Tools panel. Now with the shape selected, move the pointer over the bottom path. When a plus sign appears next to the pointer, click to add a point. Then drag that new point down to give the bottom of the shape some curve. Deleting a point is just as easy. You can actually click to select a point with the Curvature tool and press Backspace or Delete to remove it. To finish the artwork, you'll drag all of the shapes you created into place. To see everything, choose View, Fit All in Window. Select the Selection tool and drag each of these shapes by their edges, since they don't have a fill, into position on the right. With the Curvature tool, practice makes perfect. Keep using it and you'll be able to create all kinds of paths and shapes for your own artwork.